France over here. I'm protected by an army of kids here. That's the only way. No. My kids are tough. That's it. Where's Roman? In my opinion, cinema is the most potent... Uh, I, ch I don't choose to use the word weapon, but the most potent force in modern times, especially when you begin to consider that cinema as we know it is going to radically change. I mean, I see 12 cameras over here with little movements shuttling film through it, and I see one that doesn't need that over there. And we must realize that the world cinema is going to be, whether you argue and say, no, it'll be five years or it'll be three years, it will be electronic. It will be electronic, it will be digital, it will bounce off satellites, and it will create the dreams and hallucinations of, of the future, of the world. Ambiguity is a trick, tricky word because the film is about ambiguity. So, how do you make a film about moral ambiguity that is not ambiguous? It's, it's tricky. Perhaps what the film cries for the most is, is some sort of notion of intelligence to govern us, to be governed by what I said before, intelligence, creativity, and friendliness, to let that be our guiding light so that we can walk the tightrope be between the primitive man which is in us and the godly man. If you're familiar at all with, uh, not to bring up the names of philosophers because I know, you know, regular moviegoers are going to see this, but this was the whole issue of, of Friedrich Nietzsche who wanted to understand what was good and what was bad. Where did we get these ideas? Because we are really in a jungle, I mean, uh, human beings. This film just presents a very extreme case where one man goes off as the line is beyond the pale of normal, normal human restraint. He goes too far. He's destroyed by it. But in a sense, it's a sacrificial thing because I wanted to kill Kurtz for America. I wanted America to look at the face of it, to look at the face of the horror, and to accept it and say, yes, it is my face. And only then could they go beyond to some new age. I mean, let's face it, we're talking about a new age in this world. I felt my audiences are familiar with a war film. So first, I would like to win their confidence and say, come with me on a trip. It's not a movie, it's a trip, it's a journey. I take you by the hand and say, come with me. We start in a movie that you understand, that you've seen before. We go a little further, we get stranger. We go a little further, we get stranger, until after a while, you are in a new place where you have never been before. But still come with me. So that I felt that the only way that I could show the film was the way I made the film, is because I started in a regular movie, ah, and then I made it stranger and stranger, so that I take the audience on the same trip that I did. No. Are there any clips for TV? For TV? Clips, no.